I'm going to show you how to render sweater with texture and cables. Um, so I am starting with my lightest color. I picked a green. So I'm going to lay down my lightest color everywhere. Just get that color in even everywhere. So now that I have that color down, I'm going to get my shadow color and I'm going to lay that down in the shadow areas. Think about where your light source is and put the shadows in the places where you're going to see darker shadows. Okay, now I am going to use a colored pencil and um, it's going to be kind of like a medium tone, um, so a little bit darker than my lightest marker color. And I'm just going to add in a little bit of texture. Because I, I don't want the sweater to look too flat. So I'm just adding in some random texture everywhere, um, everywhere that the lightest areas are, so not in the shadow areas. If I want to make the sweater look fuzzy, I'm going to use the side of my colored pencil and add just a little bit of that fuzzy texture on the outside. Not too much, just a little, like a haze, just on the outside of the sweater. Just going in and sort of defining some of that haze a little bit more. So now to get in some depth into these cables and some of these textures, um, I'm going to add just a little bit of shadow, not everywhere. Just a little bit of shadow to give it some depth just on one side of each of these little motifs. of defining those shapes that you've already created with your pencil. I'm just going to add a few little darker shadows here just to give it a little bit more depth. And now with a lighter colored pencil, so I'm using a 10% um, French gray, which is what I use a lot for highlights. Um, I'm going to go in and I'm going to add some highlights on the other side of those motifs. Also going to add some highlights to the lightest areas. Add some highlight here to this large cable. I'm 
I'm not adding a lot. Um, there's a shadow here and I don't want to add highlight in those shadow areas. I'm just going to add a little bit of highlight here as well. Now if I want to do um, like a rib here on the collar, then I'm going to come in and add some lines in the highlight areas. And then with a darker colored pencil, almost like my shadow color, I'm going to add some darker lines to those shadow areas just to give it a little bit of depth. And that is a textured sweater with cables.